However, even though we take all the steps we can to make our sample data be as representative of the population parameters as it can be, there will still be some sampling error. The formula we use to quantify that sampling error is called the standard error of M, or SEM, and it tells us how much error to expect between a population mean and a sample mean. The notation that's used to identify the standard error is shown on the slide, and it is the sigma, the notation you learned in Chapter 4, that represents the population standard deviation, only here we add the subscript of M. The sigma indicates that we are measuring a standard deviation or a standard distance from the mean. The subscript M indicates that we are measuring the standard deviation for a di distribution of sample means. The standard error is an extremely valuable measure because it specifies precisely how well a sample mean estimates its population mean. That is, how much error you should expect on average between M and mu. The magnitude of the standard error is determined by two factors, the size of the sample and the standard deviation of the population from which the sample is selected. As the sample size increases, the error between the sample mean and the population mean should decrease. The greater the variance in the population, the less probable it is that the sample mean will be close to the population mean. On the slide is the standard error of M formula. To calculate SEM, we divide the population standard deviation by the square root of the N. Remember that N stands for the number of cases we have in the sample. There are two versions of the formula on the slide. Both will result in the same value. On the left, one divides the population standard deviation by the square root of the N. On the right, one divides the population variance by the N and then takes the square root of that number. Remember in Chapter 4, you learned that the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So the formula on the left uses the standard deviation where the square root of the variance has already been accomplished.